Hey, this is Ian, and the question is, does teaching English abroad look good on your resume? So, uh, the first thing we'll cover are the, the pros, what are the good, you know, how's this going to look good on your resume? So if you're teaching English abroad, teach English abroad, it probably means you have uh, a good imagination, adaptable, uh, good leader, you're a good leader, you can speak publicly in front of people, a bunch of things, maybe you can work with work with kids or you know something like that you know adventurous you get you know so those are some of the pros of teaching English abroad and if you're going to do something related you know if your career is something related to that then that's going to look good on your resume the cons are if you are not if teaching English abroad is not related to what you're doing and you go and you do it for you know, a long time, and then you return home, and you start looking for a job, then you've got basically a gap in your resume. And the bigger the gap that is, then um, maybe the more difficult it's going to be. So, that's the con. And then, what i got to say about that is, you could probably find qualities, like some of those qualities I just mentioned in the pros of teaching abroad, and find those somehow to relate to whatever you're applying for. About um, communication, I can speak in front of people. I'm creative. I get good imagination. Whatever you know, you can kind of like look at the big picture of teaching English abroad. Take some of the qualities that you learn from doing that, and then you know you could use those um, to help like cover up any missing. You know. uh, so if you're doing unrelated work, it's more more difficult but again find what you can to relate you know what you did to what you're doing or trying to do you know I personally wouldn't worry about it much um, you know if you're I mean basically like some people I'll tell you some people will tell you some people will say if you start digging into this topic online or you talk with other teachers and stuff and I think some people will say you know what if you do it for a year or two it's really not going to make a difference much of a difference you know if you're doing it, you know, three, four, ten years or more, then hey, that's a long time. You lived, you lived in a foreign country, and you didn't do anything, you know, in this country related to what you're doing. That's a long time, right? It's a big gap in your resume, so you're gonna have to. It's gonna pose some challenges, probably. In my experience, I spent a total of six, about six years, six and a half years or so in Asia teaching. After two years, my first two years in Taiwan, I went back home and I taught for a year. Uh, excuse me, I didn't teach for a year. What was I doing? Uh, I went back home and I worked. Actually, I got a job working in uh, doing some sort of like social work. I worked with like these teens that came from like broken homes and they were like, they had problems. And I like lived in the house with them. I was kind of like a mentor. To them. So it was a, eh, a little bit related, right? And I um, don't really remember having much of a problem finding a job or whatever then. And then I went back to Asia and I spent four years there straight. Never came home. And then after around four years later, I went back to the States, looked for a job. Then I remember it being more difficult. Um, you know, I, I got a job, the job that I did get was related and that was uh, I worked in after school program with kids like teaching kids and just you know, doing fun stuff like art playing games and basically basically like teaching in like a private after school program so it was related so it was it was uh, easier there, there were some times around then too I applied for some like jobs like serving like waiting on tables and stuff stuff I used to do like when I was younger, it had been like probably, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years since I had done that work. Um, I didn't, I didn't get a job doing it, but I didn't really want it, you know. So it wasn't much of a loss. And um, then I moved out here to San Fran, and since then I've been working on this website and doing some artistic stuff, like performing out on the streets and stuff. 
So, uh, last thing I gotta say is, you're not your resume, so don't, uh, I don't know, don't, don't make decisions based on what you think might look good on your resume. Like, oh, I'm gonna do this because it's gonna look good on my resume. You should do it because you wanna do it, not because you think it's gonna look good on your resume, or bad on your resume, you know? If you don't want to teach abroad and, because you, and you think it might not look good on your resume, then don't teach abroad, you know? Um, but just uh, do what you really want to do. And I wouldn't really think so far ahead. You know? It's like um, retirement stuff. You're, you're, you know, you're probably, you're watching, if you're watching this video, you're probably not that old. And um, yeah, you can make future plans, but really wouldn't worry about this stuff that much. And look at me, you know, I did six years and uh, I just don't think that way. I, I don't think that way and I recommend you not to think that way. You are not your resume, all right?